Well, hello boys and girls. Welcome back. It's Miss Pridmore. Today we are on grade two, mod seven, lesson 21, the problem set for my class. That's page 249. Let's get started. It says find the value of the point on each part of the meter strip marked by a letter. For each number line, one unit is the distance from one hash mark to the next. Okay. So here's what we need to do. We need to recognize that each hash mark may not be one, right? For example, if you have 20 centimeters here and you were only counting up by ones, you wouldn't get to 50, would you? Let's try it, ready? So if this was 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, that doesn't work, does it? Because this hash mark is 50 centimeters. So our unknown right now that we want to solve for is A, right? But to solve for A, we first have to decide how much each one of these hash marks is. What is the value increasing by? So I like to start with ones. If ones don't work, let's try fives, okay? So if we went up by fives from 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, does that work out? Yeah. So now we know that if this is 20 and these are increasing by fives, the next hash mark would be 25, 30, 35, and A would be what? 40. Now you'll notice Ms. Prenor is writing sideways. This is a little trick that I've taught my class to help us fit the numbers in without squishing them against each other. So each unit has a length of how many centimeters? Be careful with this one. They're not asking for the unknown A. They're asking how much am I skipping each time? That's my unit from one hash mark to the next. So each time I'm skipping, what am I skipping by? Right, five centimeters. So put five in your first blank. Centimeters is already written for you. And what is the value of A? Well, A was 40 centimeters. Now here, centimeters is not added, so we will need to add it. So 40, and you can put CM, the abbreviation for centimeters. Great, let's move on. Okay, again, each unit has a length of question mark. We don't know how much each unit is. And then we're going to solve for B once we find out. So let's take a look at these numbers. What do you notice about them, boys and girls? Yeah, their ones have the same number, right? They're, they have the same number in the ones column. Hmm, now that reminds me of skipping by what number? Right, tens. So if I skip up from 35, if I skip up by 10, what number do I land on? 45, right? So let's try it. So we have 45, 55, 65, 75, 85. Did that work out for us? It sure did. So let's go ahead and mark each unit. So 35, we skip up to 40. And if you can't see what, yeah, I think you can see pretty well, 45. Nope, I messed up. I was counting by fives again, right? We're going by tens this time. So, 45, 55, 65, 75, and then the last one is gonna be 85. So, the first question, the first part of this question is each unit has a length of how many centimeters? From here to here, we have 10 
centimeters. And then B has a value of 65 centimeters. And you do need to write CM because they don't put it in this blank for you. Okay, last one on this page. You guys are rocking it. Now it says each unit on the meter strip has a length of how many centimeters? Okay. Now before they've only given you endpoints, right? This time you're solving for the end point. Hmm, no problem, we got this. So right away I notice I can't be jumping by tens because my ones column is different. So if I were skipping by tens, I would expect to have numbers only ending in five. So that already eliminates tens. Am I skipping by ones? No, right? Because it's too many, there would be too many numbers between 75 and 90 to only have two hash marks. So what other unit could I be skipping by? Right, fives, so let's try it out. So we have 75, if we count up by fives, that would make this number 80. This number would be 85, and this would work out to be 90. Great. Now, we would have to count back by fives to solve for C. So, what would come before 75 if we were counting by fives? Or the other way to say that is if we were counting down by fives from 75, what would the next number be? Right, 70, okay? So the, each unit from here to here, from hash mark to hash mark is going to be five centimeters. And this mark C is seven centimeters, it has 70 centimeters. It has a value of 70 centimeters. Okay, well, let's move on. All right, now this time they are giving you the unit that we're skipping by. So if each unit is five, five more on the number line, and that's a really important part. So we are counting up by fives. So you can highlight more if you have your highlighter handy. Okay, so do we know what D is? No, but we do have a starting place here. And if we count up by fives, we can solve for D. So 45, what comes after counting by fives? Right, 55, 65, no. I hope you caught that. 55, 60, 65, 70. Oh my goodness, Miss Pridmore. What did I do? I jumped right into it counting by fives, didn't I? Or by tens, didn't I? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Good thing my pen is erasable. So I have 45. Five more would be 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, and that makes D 75. So we're going to write 75. Now notice Ms. Pridmore did not put centimeters after the 75. Why? Well, let's take a look at what the directions say. It says each hash mark represents five more. Five more what? It didn't say, right? Could be five more dollars, five more miles, five more pizzas, who knows, right? Hope it's five more pizzas. But it didn't tell us that it was centimeters. So we are going to leave that off. We're not gonna include a unit of measure, okay? 
All right, so it says now, what is the difference between the two endpoints? Well, you have to know what endpoints are to solve for this. So the endpoints are where your line begins and ends. So for us, that is 45 and 75. 45 and 75. How do I find the difference between those two numbers? Well, there's a couple of ways, right? I could subtract or I could start at 45 and count on. Now, when I count on, I need to know how many more I'm adding. So let's try it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, right? Now let me double check by subtracting. So five minus five in the ones column is zero. Seven minus four is three. That still gives me 30. So the difference between the two endpoints is 30. Okay. E, let's move on. Each hash mark represents 10 more on the number line. So, 10 more on the number line. Hmm. Now here, you'll see that we don't have a starting point. We really just have an ending point. So even though the directions tell us 10 more, we're gonna have to count backward or down from 180 to find where we were starting, right? So, Let's try it. And even if that doesn't make sense to you 100% right now, let's try it together and see if it doesn't clear up for you, okay? So starting at 180, which is our final end point, we're gonna work backwards. So 180 minus 10, or 10 less than 180 would be 170. 160. 150, 140, 130, and our end point E is going to be 120. Now, look again, I did not add any unit of measure. I didn't say 120 inches or centimeters because my question or my directions did not tell me any unit of measure. It just said 10 more. Now, so why, if it said 10 more, did I count down? Well, because now when I'm moving from E going forward, I will have 10 more, right? So I'm counting up by tens when I'm moving to the right. So E equals 120. What is the difference between the two endpoints? So we need to count up by tens from 120 and see how many we added, how many hops did we make, right? Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So the difference is 60. How can we double check that? We can double check it using vertical subtraction. Zero minus zero is zero. Eight minus, well, eight tens minus two tens is six tens. And one minus one is zero. So see, our answers match. Chances are we got it right, right? Okay, I'm gonna have you complete number six on your own and also complete your exit ticket on your own. Great job, guys.